on this bowl act team, we're back for more Super Mario 64 The Missing Stars. In the last episode, we finished up the outside city area, and in this episode, we're going to the secret woods. And what you're seeing here is actually the menu when you go into the secret woods when it is nighttime. It's a bit of a glitch. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna enter here, and it's gonna be nighttime out here. It's kind of uh, a little weird because it's like the only level with a menu and the night and day cycle. So, yeah, that is why it's a bit glitchy. Actually, this is the glitchiest level in the game. As you saw there, I went through the mushroom because this is the most customly made level in the game. It has these custom trees, these custom ugly textures, the custom mushrooms, even though the custom mushrooms were in other levels. There's more so in this level. And, bah! You see this? You see this? It's the glitchiest level in the game and the last level in the game and where's that star? Mm. Um actually a few days ago I streamed this because uh, um the from the beginning of this game up to this point because I lost all my save data and I'll put the picture up here of me losing my save data because I'm emulating this on the Wii and the Wii emulators can be a bit sketchy. And, uh, I haven't played this game in a week. I practiced right before I was right ready, right about to record. Frickin' this happened. It's so stupid. And now I forget exactly what to do. Well, I don't forget what to do, I just forget which star this is. But, I believe it's this one. I thought it was the one up there. But that's actually a red coin for the red coin mission, so... Yeah, and then I thought it was the one over there on the boxes, but uh, with that box I was hopping on. But that is the second mission. So yes, um, this is the glitchiest level in the game, so be careful. And it is the hardest level in the game just for the fact of that glitchiness. Actually, personally I think the inside the volcano is harder. But this one can be harder because of its glitches. Uh... And you'll be seeing them more and more frequently throughout the level. This is like the one level I don't really like in the game because of that. This game's pretty good. It's just really, really glitchy. But if you can get past the glitches, it's a great game. It's a great game. It was the first ever independent Super Mario 64 ROM hack. And when I say independent, I mean it doesn't sh um, copy off any level at all. Like Cool Cool Mountain or Lethal Lava Land. Well... That was previously in Mars 64. Well, Lethal Lava Land, kind of with Inside the Volcano, but um, it didn't. Basically, like, if you've played Kaizo Mario 64 before, you'll know what I mean. Like, it's the same game, but it just has a bunch of stuff, like, put in front of it to make the game harder. Um, so, yeah, like, there'll still be the castle, there'll still be the paintings. So, yeah, this is the first ever independent one. It spawned a whole new uh, community of independent Sumo 64 ROM hackers. So it's kind of more like an inspiration type game. Kind of like how the original Super Mario 64 was for um, developers of 3D platformers. And your rage right here is the second star. Um, the beginning stars in this mission, in this, not mission, in this uh, level are pretty easy, um, but later they get harder. Anyways, now that it's daytime, you can see what they were called. The first one was called Mushroom Climb, this one was called Jumpman, and then the next one's called Cl Cave Climber. Jeez, me and my words today. I haven't, <laughs> I haven't live commentated something in so long besides the stream, but the stream I don't really focus that much on commentary. Um, they'll like my commentary being really good because you know it's a stream. And, uh, I like to save my good commentary and my good ideas for here. I just pretty much say what comes to my mind. And I'm not saying that doesn't happen in the, like, when I do normal recordings. Um, I'll just talk about it in a sec. Right here, it looks like you're just, like, banging your head on an invisible wall. Actually, the side of the platform up there has the same texture as the wall. As you see right here, when I backflip, it's actually a platform. That always confuses me. Another thing why this is very badly customly textured. But at least I tried with the custom level and I fell. So I'm gonna go back up there. And while I go back up there, I can talk more about what I mean. When I stream, 
I focus more li like, like, like throughout the day when I'm just doing my stuff, or when I'm like playing this game like on practice or on my off time or whatever, I think about what I could do, like say for a let's play. What do I like about the game? What do I dislike about the game? Blah, blah, blah. With a stream, I just put the game in and play and say whatever comes to mind, even if it's really inappropriate. Because sometimes I say like, uh, bad things. I don't like to say that too much in my videos, so. Anyways, right here, another mushroom, another mushroom, another shrooms, get all drunk, get all Mario'd, and stuff. And there's the box with the star! So, yep. Uh, when I was practicing this, this took me a while to do because of the textures. Mm. I just don't like this level a lot. I don't want to complain about too much, but yeah, there's one specific mission I have a lot to say about. And I think it's actually coming up soon. Also, getting in this level is a bit glitchy too. Like that. Treetops. Okay, it's probably in the next mission after this. Anyways, right here there is the uh, bomb, and he has another texture glitch, and now he's green and stuff. I actually think there is no cannon in this level. Well, there's a cannon, but I mean no cannon to open. So, yeah, what you have to do is go up in this tree right here, this customly made horrible tree, and climb it. Yeah, yeah. Blah. Blur. My commentary today. Bublex, how do you do your commentary? Well, I'll just say blur and then I get 2 million views. Wow, that is a great strategy. It's like I'm doing, I was pretending to do an interview or something of that sort, but it did not work for the likes of Peeps. K, Mario, Star, Got, Tree Chops, Mission. Complete. Now we are going into. Ah, oh, here it is. Petey Piranha Plant Attacks. Now I know he's trying to make this unique, and he's trying to uh recreate Pre Petey Piranha from um Super Mario Sunshine. But how he goes about it is just horrible. This thing gives me nightmares. Okay, that's Petey right there. I don't want to look at it too much right now. I'll explain what it is. This is a piranha plant. A piranha plant, a, what what it looks like when it is inside a pipe. It, it doesn't have his mouth open. It looks really glitchy because that's what it looks like when it's inside his pipe. Or when it's not moving. It basically has no motions assigned to it. It doesn't even have a piranha plant AI at all. Just a piranha plant model. It has a big boo AI. And it's... It spits out fireballs. It's just really weird. A piranha. How did he? How did he think putting a boo AI in a piranha plant that spits out fire was a good idea for a boss? And the hit detection is exactly like a boo as well. So sometimes, like his hit detection is circular shaped. So sometimes he'll bounce like off him invisibly or go through him, and it's just like why. That thing could give kids nightmares or something. It's so scary. It's just like a piranha plant going like, uh, uh, whatever. I just don't like it. I'm actually not sure if uh the guy who made this ever made a sequel to this or any other Super Mario 64 ROM hacks after that. I better check. I know this was made like in 09, but. I really want to check, like, if you made Missing Stars 2 or something, I'd love to do that blind or something. Or any of his other Sumo 64 ROM hacks if he made more, but I highly doubt it. Last time I checked, nope. And I don't know what the next mission's called because of nighttime glitches. Uh, let me pause it. Red coin hunting, okay. The red coins in this level, just like this le the level itself, is weird. They're oddly placed. And, uh, da, 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 da. I know I'm complaining about this level a lot, but I really actually don't mind it. It's not too bad to play. It's just that he should have, like, worked on this game too much. I don't know if he rushed it or what, but he should have worked on it a bit more. Like, I wonder, did he even play test this game? Or at least this level? Like, the rest of the game's fine. 
But I mean, did he even play test this level, or did he just get extremely lucky with playtesting it and thought everything was okay when it wasn't? This is like inexcusable. Oh, it just bugs me so much. Also, since I'm a Super Mario 64 ROM hacker, mm. one of the biggest problems with Super Mario 64 ROM hacks is like the hit detection on stuff. It's really bad. It's really hard to do, and I get that, but. Well, he is better than me, because I couldn't make this. Like... I couldn't make an independent Super Mario 64 ROM hack. I'm currently trying to work on, very lazily working on, a uh, dependent Super Mario 64 ROM hack. Anyways, right here is the hardest red coin. Just... Long jump and go over here. You cannot do the kick jump glitch up here. The slope is just too steep. It does not work. So, yep. And where would the last coon be? I'm pretty sure there's one in the PD Piranha place. Jeez, see, that should have been PD Piranha. He spat out fire. He did stuff. I guess he just wanted him to have more hits, but he edited the hits with the big bob bomb. So, why couldn't he make PD Piranha like that? Instead of like this Piranha Boo. God. <laughs> Jeez, what was he on? Crack? God. Don't want to be like that guy who gave the idea to Nintendo about the boss of Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon World 2 Haunted Towers joke from previous parts of Lips. I also LPs if you like said it literally. You know how you like you say, you don't say LOL, sometimes you just say LOL. Uh, if you said like LPs that way, they would be like lepers, like lippers, like lepers, like the the disease that was like in the Bible times, where people like got infected with it and then people had to like ignore them and stuff. It's kind of like a zombie apocalypse, but not as severe, and it was avoidable because they weren't trying to eat flesh; they had a brain still. It's like a zombie with a brain, kind of. I don't know. Anyways, I don't mean to be mean to any people. I don't even know if leprosy is still a thing, though. Mm, should look it up or something, in case I offend anyone. Actually, something about offending. Offending people is... To be offended is a choice. I never got why people are like, don't say that, that's offensive. Because people choose to be offended by it or not. So if you don't want to be offended, just let him be and don't be offended, like, I don't get it. Our world would be much more happier and free if people didn't get offended so easily. God. Especially, like, something about race, like, if someone- if you, like, even mention the- if you're a white guy and you even mention the word black, you're automatically racist. Dude, I have a black friend- YOU RACIST! <laughs> That's what it's like, and I mean, jeez, calm down, God. Same with any other race, too. It's like you mention them, or you refer to them as them. Like, say you don't know a name, like, you know everyone in the room's name, except for, like, like a couple, a couple guys that are white, and then, like, a black guy. And then people, like, start freaking out, like, OH MY GOD! No, like, no, 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 but, uh, let me rephrase that. Back to before the freaking out part. I went a little bit too ahead of myself. Um, you go and you, uh, like, you, like, don't know what his name is, so you refer to him as, hey, black guy or whatever. I don't know your name, but could you tell me your name or something like that? And then people will be like, OFFENDED! DON'T REFER TO HIM AS A BLACK GUY! You know he's black and it's obvious, and it's the easiest way to do it, you don't do it because it's bad. Like, jeez. Anyways, why am I talking about racism when I'm freaking playing Mario ROM hacks, piracy thing, my jigger? Nah. Playing ROM hacks is not piracy. Because that's the only way you can access them. For free. Yay! 37 stars. And believe it or not, we are one star away from completing the game. 
there's 38 stars in this game total and I'm getting 100 coins so the last one was right going hunting so I'm guessing that one had the most in oh I love this music I'm pretty sure it's from Yoshi's Island or Yoshi's Island DS Yoshi's Island DS is a good game some people said I don't know, but like around the internet, people are either saying it's a port or it's a bad game. It is not a port. It's not a remake. The levels are completely original. It is a direct sequel to Yoshi's Island. And I don't see how people are so dumb that they're dumb. Yeah, that makes sense. Anyways, desert background, cuz logic! I'm pretty sure it's Yoshi's Island DS. But I might be wrong, it might be Yoshi's Island. I personally like Yoshi's Island DS more than uh, Yoshi's Island. Even though I played Yoshi's Island first and I grew up with Yoshi's Island before Yoshi's Island DS. Well, they were both part of my childhood. Like, when I had a Game Boy, I played Yoshi's Island. And then when I had a DS, I played Yoshi's Island DS. I hope they make a Yoshi's Island on 3DS. I know they're making that Yoshi yarn game on Wii U, but I want like a Yoshi's Island game. I'm still excited for the Yoshi yarn game. Don't get me wrong, but I mean, I also want a Yoshi's Island, you know? Because I know it's going to be different than Yoshi's Island. It's not going to be like a true sequel to Yoshi's Island DS. So, yeah. There's a lot of games I'd like a third of. Like, there's a lot of, uh, series where they have two games and I want a third one. Like, uh, let me give you an example. Pikmin 3, well, Pikmin 3 is coming out, but I still want it right now. Uh, Sonic Adventure series, uh, Elibit. What's a game? Oh, I'm yawning again. I did that all stream when I was doing this for a stream. It was annoying. Let's get up there. Boing, boing, boing. And coins. Corns, coons. 73, wow. Yep. It's pretty easy to get coins in these areas because, yeah. There's a 100 coin mission and they just put a bunch of rings of coins everywhere because they don't know what to do because it's a small area, you know? You know? It's like maybe like a third of a, or a half of what a normal Super Mario 64 world will be like in terms of size and yes. Die Goomba! If I glitch freaking out of the world and kill myself, I'd kill myself. Yep. Just like in the finale of the, the, the little Luigi's Mansion, jeez. I already made that joke. Don't need to do it again. Oh, that tree that's so fucking yawning. Yeah. I'm pretty sure there's no coins up at the top of the lands. But I could check. As in the top of the cave. I said this place wasn't too long, but it's already 18 minutes. And I fell off due to textures. God, because I didn't know where the edge was, because there's no indication of the edge, because the edge is the same in the depth. So, ah, if this was like in 3D on the 3DS, it might have helped, but still, no excuse for terrible textures. God. Blah. Okay. No, my. Don't fall all the way down, man. Peach is in trouble, and you're not. Well, Peach didn't even get kidnapped, but still, the stars are missing, and you gotta find them, because the plot is intense. Finally! God freaking damn it, Mario. Mario, you're really pissing me off. Did you know that? Did you know that? Did you know? Do you even lift? Mushrooms waiting. Let's get red coins. Wait, how many red coins do I have? All but one. A great. So I have no red coins to go get. To finish off, I'll have 99 problems. Hot problems. God! 
Mario, stop fucking glitching, you dumbass plumber. Go plumb your own butt. It's because the freaking mushroom clips on the ground and the goddamn glitches. Duh, duh, fuck. Fred got up, and now I have 99 freaking coins. Let me go check if there's any extra coins up near the top. Wait, is there any like enemies though? Cause there could be a Goomba or something. Yes, yes, you die. Give me your money. Yeah, we did it! Bam, 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 bam. We killed the real PD and got 101 coins and we got the star. There's nothing you can do about it, you goddamn plumber. So, we have every star in the game. What will happen next? Find out next time on Super Mario 64, The Missing Stars.